I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of, of the United, United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CV. I'm Blueberry. And I'm Brady Hudson, here with your announcements for March 2nd, 2023. Attention juniors, tutoring opportunities are available in our district. These hours can be used for your senior project. Please see or email Mrs. Jones as soon as possible. Any student interested in Unified Track, please email Mr. D or Ms. P. The Unified Track team is a great opportunity for students of any level of athleticism to compete and work together as a team. Please see Mr. D for info. Any student that is interested in joining the Spanish club, please see Mrs. Gibson to sign up. If you are currently taking a Spanish class or took one in the past, then you are eligible to sign up. Attention all girls in the grades 9 through 11. Please check your email for 2023-24 cheer signups. All signups will be with the Google Docs sent to your email. Cheer trials for next year will be on March 30th. Attention 9th and 10th grade students, Muffins in the Morning is a Central Valley PTA event scheduled for March 17th and 18th. Service hours are available. Please see your email Mrs. Jones if you would like to volunteer for this fun community breakfast. Tickets for Central Valley High School's production of Godspell are on sale now on the school website. Performances are March 2nd at 7 p.m., March 3rd and 4th at 7.30 p.m. Buy your tickets now to choose your seats and skip the ticket line at the door. Varsity track practices will begin on March 6th at 3 p.m. Please meet in the high school cafeteria. Also, please dress for the weather as all practices will be outside. That's all we have for today, CV. Now on to Dr. Seuss Day with Lana and Maya. Good morning, CV. I'm Maya Mercanja. And I'm Lana Gagne here to give you the meaning about what Dr. Seuss Day is about. Theodore Seuss Giselle was an American children's author and cartoonist. He is best known for his work writing and illustrating more than 60 books throughout his career. He was born on March 2, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts. He then passed away on September 24, 1991 in La California. Seuss was awarded many awards, including the Caldecott Medal, Pulitzer Prize, Special Citations and Awards, Children's Literature Legacy Award, and many more. Some of the most famous poems by Dr. Seuss include The Cat in the Hat, Oh, The Places You'll Go, Fox and Socks, Green Eggs and Ham, and Yertle the Turtle. Better known by his pen name, Dr. Seuss, is one of the best-selling children's authors in the world. In fact, his impact on children's literature is honored every year on Seuss's birthday, March 2nd, with Read Across America events to promote literacy. To sort of quote Seuss's good friend Sam I Am, would you, could you, like to know more? Great, here are five fantastical facts about Dr. Seuss. One, Dr. Seuss never had children of his own, but he had been quoted saying, you have them, I'll amuse them. Two, Seuss's first book, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, was rejected by 27 publishers. It wasn't until 1937 that Seuss found a publisher in Vanguard Press. Vanguard also published The 500 Hats of Bartholomew Cubbins, Seuss's second book, before he moved to Random House. Random House published Seuss's books for the duration of his career. 3. Green Eggs and Ham was written as the result of a bet. Seuss's editor, Bennett Kerf, Bet Seuss that he couldn't write a book using only 50 words. Would he? Could he win that bet? Yes. Seuss took up that challenge and created the classic Green Eggs and Ham. 4. Many of Seuss's stories have social and political undertones. The Lorax is about the importance of conservation and using resources wisely. And Seuss admitted that the main character in Yertle the Turtle was a direct representation of Adolf Hitler. Seuss's book, The Butter Battle Book, was pulled from shelves for months due to its underlying references to the Cold War, which was taking place at the time of its publication. 
5. Dr. Seuss was not an actual doctor. Seuss wanted to write under a pen name, and his father had always wanted him to go into medicine. So Seuss gave himself the title of doctor, and the rest is literary history. However, in 1956, Seuss received an honorary doctorate from his alma mater, Dartmouth College. And big bonus fact for word nerds. Dr. Seuss is credited with coining the word nerd, found in his book, If I Ran the Zoo. Okay. Dr. Seuss days are full 24 hours to make a mess with the cat in the hat, dance around with the fox in the socks, hear a who with Horton, count the red and blue fish, help the Grinch see the error of his ways, and listen to Sam and I's friends complain about the, his dish of green eggs and ham, the ungrateful hairball. It is celebrated on March 2nd and is a celebration of his life and works, as it was on the day he entered the world. Seuss joined a humor magazine at Dartmouth College. Things were going well with Seuss. He became the publications editor-in-chief. However, he was forced to resign when he was caught drinking. During the Second World War, he drew more than 400 political cartoons for the PM, which was a daily newspaper based, on, based in New York. How can you celebrate Dr. Seuss Day? A lot of schools in the United States will have group readings and reading activities on this day. You can also find such events taking place at community centers and libraries, as well as the reading themselves. There will also be educator and student videos, as well as further information about staying involved and making certain that reading is a priority. We hope you learn more about Dr. Seuss in the day. Have a good day, CV.